Hi, it's Ed at Flint and Parks Optometrist in Wolverhampton and Ed Lyons Sports Vision. And this afternoon I'm with Kath Bright. And Kath's been a client of mine for a few years now and we've gone through another sports vision assessment. Um, so Kath, tell us a little bit about yourself and your shooting and where you came to see me in the first place. Uh, I shot when I was a teenager, gave it up, started again about 2012. Um, got a Professional gun fit um, about 2014-15 um, and uh, that was with Dave Beardsmore and he advised that I go and see Ed because my left eye was uh, decided to take over when um, when I was a bit tired and as he was fitting the gun he noticed it flicking in and out dominant twice so he advised me to go and see Ed and it coincided with my contact lenses started to play up a little bit as well so they started to get very sore, started to get infections but also I felt that my normal glasses were actually better uh, visually for shooting than my contact lenses which obviously wasn't very good so I came to see Ed in 2015-16 yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. 16. Yeah. 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 And what we found is with the contact lens that you were wearing the lens that corrects the astigmatism has to sit in exactly the right place. So when you've got some astigmatism, it means that you've either got a difference in the shape of the cornea on the front of the eye or the lens inside, and in order to correct that, we need a contact lens called a toric. So a toric lens, much like a rugby ball, has got a different curvature in one meridian. So with that sort of lens, we need exactly the right power, and we need exactly the right axis, so it needs to sit in that correct position. Now with a pair of glasses we can correct the prescription to within 99.9%, you know, .9%. we can correct all those little aberrations. With a stock ready to wear daily disposable contact lens the parameters are a bit more restricted so the lenses are only available in certain uh, powers shall we say that the manufacturers can sell the most of. So we might find that the cerebral part might be a little bit too strong or a little bit too weak or the astigmatic part of the correction again might be not quite where you need it to be and it might not sit in the right position. And what was happening with Kath particularly is because she's a shooter of fast trap disciplines on quick lateral eye movement that contact lens could actually start to spin around and could actually be uh, introduce some variability that we didn't need. So we decided to go into a pillar prescription product and this is the 580X Carbon. So that was probably the best product that was around at the time and this sits really nicely, sits quite nicely on the bridge of the nose, it's got nice sort of carbon fibre temples and we can see that it sits a little bit higher than a pair of regular glasses. What we'll find now though is when we mount the gun, empty gun there, so if we just sort of mount, we can see here that we have got quite a lot of space within this lens design, where a lot of regular glasses do sit a little bit lower. But what we've done this last season is we've actually moved from the 580 style onto the 540 style. So this one is the 540X, that's also in carbon, and this has got the 70 peach lens. So it's got um, more light transmission for a little bit more visual information. So if you'd like to pop that on, now we can see that this one, the lenses are a little bit closer together, so that distance between the lenses is only around about 8mm. That's quite useful for trap shooting because we generally tend to find that we're looking through this little zone here, and they do sit a little bit higher up on the face as well. So if we do another little gun mount. And despite me thinking I had a big head, <laughs> the other ones used to fall off. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we tend to find that this 540 style um, is a little bit tighter, it tends to fit a little bit more securely and again so we've got plenty of room in here but the whole thing just sort of fits around the, the temples a little bit more comfortably, so fantastic. So um, tell us a little bit about what you've, uh, what you've won over the last sort of couple of years since we did a bit of work. Um, oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> the list is long. <laughs> It took a little bit of time to get used to the glasses mm -hmm. from having uh, shot with um, the contact lenses and uh, I think the first time I really used them I was going over to Northern Ireland mm -hmm. and Ireland for the DTL yep. um, and it shot reasonably well and we, um, the, the ladies, England ladies won team silver and team bronze over there in the European and World Championship which is pretty good. Yep. Um, and then um, later on that year in the August I uh, entered the um, Detail Classic which was um, shooting magazine's premier shoot mm -hmm. for trap 
and uh, managed to get into the, the grand final and um, won a brand new prize, yep. which was obviously a massive highlight. Um, on the way home from that shoot, because I was living on the Isle of Wight at that point, I called into Fodegla, North Wales, of course, because that's on the way home from Northumberland to the Isle of Wight. Mm -hmm. Yeesh. Um, and won the World uh, All Round yep. Championship mm -hmm. as well. Um, and then later on that year, uh, went to the DTL Grand Final at Maylands and shot 100 300. Yep, of which we actually got Kath's cap, which has been uh, shot to pieces shot to and now sits in our <laughs> sports vision suite in the, uh, in the other room. Yeah. And uh, added a few more sort of titles. Yeah, I mean, early indications were it was definitely the way to go. Yep. Um, and then since then, I've won the World Ball Trap twice, uh, the World All Round again. Um, English Open in, I think, five different track disciplines. Mm -hmm. Tenth at the World UT Championships in France before, before lockdown. Um, and obviously made the GB team for UT a couple of times and the Ball Trap England team. So um, it's, it's worked pretty well, hasn't it? Really? It, it, yeah. It's not been yeah. too bad. I mean, you know, obviously it's not just the vision, but uh, no, it's <laughs> it's a big part. Um, no, it, it, it's just brilliant um, to have just put the glasses on and not think about it. I've mean, seen so many people changing lenses and going, oh, is this the right colour? And um, these peach lenses especially just suit me down to the ground. And we've just discussed having one for a slightly brighter light, mm -hmm. which we haven't really seen much of the last couple of years, but will give us the option. Um, but, you know, seeing people with different lenses at the, at the ground, and I just, no, this is it. Get out, use this. Confidence is massive. Yeah. And um, I beat my UTPB a couple of weeks ago, so you know, good way to finish the season and prepare for next season. Yep. And obviously, getting the regular checkup. Yeah, absolutely. So, as we said with, with you, it was a pretty simple little fix that we had to do, was just to give you a bit more visual consistency mm -hmm. because we knew that obviously the gun fit was right, we knew that the sort of talent was there, but we just needed to try and find any little way to just eliminate any little variable where the wrong, wrong element starts to take over or even from a mental and a psychological perspective we're thinking about the contact lenses we're thinking that it might feel a bit dry a bit gritty yeah. and when you're performing to that sort of level we just want to go in with absolute clarity of thought and process and not have any sort of external factors that are going to cause us to be sort of thrown off that sort of you know winning mindset really mm. and that's not to say that contact lenses aren't a legitimate way of correcting vision because they really can be um, we just found with yourself that going into this just eliminated a lot more little variables really we will be doing a series about different types of contact lenses because there are lenses that we can make as a completely bespoke product which then do fix that astigmatism exactly right which then don't need to be um, don't need to be modified it can then just be there which fixes everything um, but we will do some information on soft lenses extended wear lenses um, gas permeable lenses hybrid lenses all sorts of stuff so they'll be coming up in future videos so brilliant to see you and thank you for thank your time you. uh, today and for this little video yeah. and as always if there's anything that anybody wants me to talk about just make a little comment below and we'll see if we can record some content